hello guys so welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Bolaji james in this quick tutorial i'll be showing you how to connect truehost domain that is a, a true a domain you bought from truehost to any platform where you need to use custom domain like google sites uh shopify um systeming.io and any other uh, site that lets you connect uh custom domain what happens is that when you register on uh, those platform that I just mentioned and you need to use a custom domain, they will give you some DNS uh, record to put in your DNS management. And when you buy a domain on Truehost without hosting with them, you will not have access to DNS record management. So, but they have a partnership with uh, a site called Olit. And that is where you will do these things but i need to put you through don't just jump ahead and go to that site now so just watch and see how it is done all right so if you are interested in this kind of tutorial please make sure you subscribe to my channel and uh, hit the bell notification so that you always get notified when i drop new tutorial all right so let's go into it just click on your domain in case you have more than one so I'm already logged into my client area as you can see so I'm going to go to the one I want to use for uh, today so uh, this is the one I want to use this one here is a new one I just bought so just for this tutorial so when you click on this place like the particular um, domain you want to use just trace come to this place and click on these three dots and click on manage name servers so first we need to change change the name servers for this particular domain we need to point it to uh, the platform called Olit so that we'll be able to manage the uh, you know the DNS from that place all right so these are the deep default name servers so I'm going to drop a link to this particular uh, what is it called article I'm going to drop a link to this article so that you can get the uh, name servers for all it from there so you copy the first one and if you can see it clearly you might not need to go there this is ns1.olit.com so but to be safe you can go there and copy so then you go there and copy the second one as well ns1.olit.net right so you go there and put the second one there then you clear this third record and uh, we can clear this one as well and then we come down here and just say change name servers change name servers and then we we'll wait for it to so you can say change is saved successfully so you can see the new servers you understand now so once we've done that uh let me go back to my domains so let me go back to my domain so that i can copy my domain so the next thing you need to head over to open a new tab.com that is o l i t t dot c o m okay so go to olit.com and create an account Alright, so you just click on get started. So get started. Click on get started from here and create an account. Okay, just skip this. Get started. Alright, so in my case, I'm just going to log in. So, but it's just the same way. It's almost the same thing. So logging in or whatever. So in my case, I'm just going to click. Just click on continue with Google. If you have your Google account saved. On your sys on your device so go ahead and click on Google account and uh, create an account if it's new it will be the same thing so just pick your account I'm gonna pick my own account now so I'm gonna pick my own account and that is it it will log me in into the platform with just my Google account so that is very simple so uh, you you can see here we have the website tab domain dns management and the rest and it says i don't have any website so all it is a web free website builder platform 
that uh, you can use to create just like weeks and the rest but that is not what we are here to do so once you are here what you need to do is click on dns management that is what we come here to do we just want to manage our dns using this platform okay so you click on dns management and you can see we don't have any domain here so we we'll click on add domain add domain so i'll come back here copy that my domain which is this i'll just uh click like this sorry don't mind me my mouse is so i'll just copy like this I'll, I'll paste here don't worry i will change whatever is there so i'm going to change every other thing that is there so like this and then i'll go i'm going to click on what add so i'm going to click on add now it's adding Say something went wrong let me cut this and see so that is exactly the way it asks for it so let me paste it again and try it again all right so I'm going to try it again click on add okay uh, domain already exists i think it's already added it so i'll go back to domain click on domain here go back to dns management let's see whether the domain is there it said um let's see add domain what is happening? This domain already exists. Okay, so why is it not there? Okay, so once it's not there, let's go back. What is happening here? If it is there, then we should have it. Let me type it in here and search. guys so um this i have to like stop the video i was doing and then come back to complete it you notice that uh, after adding the stuff it was not showing so if we go to dns management it was not showing so i had to like contact trust so basically if you experience the same thing i guess it's because of network or probably their system is having issues so i had to like contact them as you can see in my chat in fact, this didn't even work out because I didn't get a response uh, early enough. So I have to like chat them again on WhatsApp. They have a WhatsApp line. So if you need their contact, then you can, of course, chat, uh, drop a comment on this video. So I had to like contact them. Then they added it to my list. And now if I go back to my DNS management, you know, my domain now reflects in the list of domain so you know uh, if you try i tried adding it again it was telling me the domain already exists and it's not showing up here so so if you have the same problem you can contact them all right so now that it has been fixed if you look at this place now you can now click on manage and then you can add whatever record that has been given to you into this place so you can add your record now like maybe at most time they give you a uh, c name 
So C name or A A uh, A record, T H T, whatever type of record. Maybe you, even if it's to prove ownership of your domain. So whatever record you need to have, you can go ahead and add to this place. All right. So that is it. Thank you very much for watching. I believe the video was helpful. Please subscribe to the channel, like, and uh, you know, drop a comment if you have any issue. I'll see you in another video. Bye for now.